Last week, the world for the first time saw the image of a supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy that is home to our planet. The image, which looks like a blurry orange donut surrounding a black sphere, is only the second black hole to be imaged by scientists and represents centuries of scientific advance towards understanding the universe. The image was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope or the EHT, an observatory consisting of telescopes spanning the planet from Greenland to the South Pole. In this video, I tell you about the EHT and how it is able to capture images of black holes. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Before getting into how the EHT works, let me first explain what we are seeing in this image. It is impossible to take an actual picture of the black hole. This is because an object we image is primarily the image of the electromagnetic waves either produced by the object or reflecting off from another source. For example, we are able to see the moon because it reflects light waves from the sun. But nothing, not even light, can escape the black hole. The orangish ring is actually a flash of energy produced by matter just as it falls into the black hole. The very edge of the black hole, the point beyond which there is no escape, is known as the event horizon. So what we see in the black hole images is actually the outline of the event horizon. To capture these flashes of light around the event horizon, we need radio telescopes, which captures a very precise band of radio frequencies called millimetric waves. But remember that these waves are very weak, so the resolution and the size of the radio telescope needed to capture it is impossible to build. Scientists thus came up with a sophisticated solution to this problem. They combined observations from radio telescopes spread across the globe from Hawaii to Spain and Arizona to Chile. The dishes observed simultaneously, effectively acting as a planet-sized observatory, giving them a resolving power equivalent to being able to see a golf ball on the moon. The technique used to stitch the data together is called very long baseline interferometry. Radio astronomers have been using it for decades. The basic principle behind interferometry involves taking two telescopes separated by some distance and observing an object simultaneously with both the telescopes. Light comes from the object as a wave front like ripples in a pond. The two telescopes will catch a slightly different part of each wave front. Accounting for the delay and carefully adding the data together, you can measure the object's structure with the resolution you would have from a telescope that is the size of the distance between the two dishes. But as the object we are trying to observe becomes more complex, we need a larger network of telescopes to be able to gather enough data points to be able to stitch an image together. The EHT project uses radio telescopes at observatories around the world, from Americas to Europe, Greenland to Antarctica, to create a virtual Earth-sized telescope. These include the telescopes at the Arizona Radio Observatory, Atacama Pathfinder Experiment, IRAM 30-meter telescope, James Clark Maxwell Telescope, Large Millimeter Telescope, Submillimeter Array, Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array and the South Pole Telescope. As the Earth turns, the different telescopes catch slightly different waves of light emitted by the matter around the black hole and these are combined to form a complete picture. These signals received at each antenna have to be matched wave for wave, so each site is also equipped with an atomic clock. The image was made possible through the effort of more than 300 researchers from 80 institutes around the world that together make up the EHT collaboration in addition to developing complex tools to overcome the challenges of imaging the black hole. The team worked rigorously for five years using supercomputers to combine and analyze their data, all the while combining unprecedented library of simulated black holes to compare with their observations. 
The collaboration will continue to include more and more telescopes into its network to improve the resolution of the EHD. Now, why is it so important to image black holes? Essentially, till now, everything that we know or understand about black holes is theoretical. It's based on assumptions drawn from the effect of the cosmic objects on stars, planets and other bodies in the cosmos. Being able to actually visualize the objects that were only so far understood through mathematical equations confirms what we so far know about the universe. The image provides an essential test of the Einstein's theory of gravity and provides estimates of the black hole's spin as well as information about the behavior of matter under strong gravity, all of which was not possible to observe until now. The team is particularly excited to finally have images of two black holes of very different sizes, which offers the opportunity to understand how they compare and contrast. They have also begun to use the new data to test theories and models of how gas behaves around supermassive black holes. This process is not yet fully understood, but is thought to play a key role in shaping the formation and evolution of galaxies. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.